Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the farm. We are now in December and it is time to do some winter activities. One of which is to mulch the field that we harvested in the last episode with the sunflowers. We also have some weeds that needs removing over here in this field. So that is exactly what we're going to be starting off with. And then we need to take a look at our grass field because I think it is ready to cut. And I want to turn that into hay for the sheep. And speaking of sheep... We're going to be taking a look, potentially, at our animals to see if we... Animal? Animals! <laughs> to see if the if we want to get more of them. And also, to potentially see if we can get cows. Because I really, really do want cows, mainly prim primarily due to the manure and the slurry. So we'll take a look at that. But first things first, we're going to start the morning off with weeding this field, which is going to be very interesting if we go into here. And I think uh, weeds should be an option. Yep, as you can see right here, they're all over the place. So I'm gonna be weeding this field. Uh, I'm not gonna be weeding the other field, primarily because we need to mulch it, and I think the weeds will be removed that way. If not, then I will have to use the weeder, of course, but we'll see. Gonna start off with this and I'll see you as soon as it's done. Alright, weeds removed, and now I just need to mulch this field right here, which is going to be interesting, to say the least. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to get rid of the weeds. I mean, that would make sense. It's going to get completely chopped up. Um, but we need to take a look at mulches, because I need to find whether or not it's worth mulching. I, I mean, I think it is. Definitely is because it reuses the remaining plants and chops it up so that the ground can use the remaining nutrients. So let's take a look at here. Uh, let's check the use machinery. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Nothing for us though. Right, mulches. Um, so we could run with a dual setup here. That would result in a 3.6 meter working width. This is a 1 meter working width. Not ideal. These are the big ones right here, 6 meters, 5.8. This is the most expensive one, and to lease it would be 1,300. What about this one? Uh, 1,000. So that's a couple hundred extra for a little bit more working with, with uh, which I think I would be willing to trade in. Um, let's just do it. It's been done. It's going to give us extra yield in the long run. So let's go ahead and do that. And as we are exiting the farmyard, we can stop by the grass field to take a look. Because I'm pretty sure it is ready to cut. It does look kind of long. I don't know, however, if it can get maybe longer. Like, it looks decent. And if we go in here and go to this place and take off grass, it says ready to harvest. So, I think it's ready to harvest, so if we get time, I would like to turn that not into grass bales, but into hay bales. Because if we potentially get cows, we won't be able to give them total mix mixed ration, and grass bales are not going to have as much productivity as hay bales, so getting hay in general would be better. The sheep doesn't care, but the cows, to get hay is higher productivity. So that is something that we would want to get. All right, so I just went ahead and repaired the tractor because I realized it was all the way down at the bottom, which probably explains why on earth I was getting 12 kilometers per hour when I was doing the weeding. Now, we need to go ahead and get a mulcher. So we have this, which is one meter working width. Not ideal. We could run a dual setup, this in front, this in back. That would give us seven, no, six. So 3.6 uh, meter working width. Not ideal either. This is only three meters. 
Now we're getting up to the bigger ones. However, this one requires 200 horsepower. This 150 could potentially run it. But I think the safest option is probably go to is to be to go to this with this one. It's going to be 1,071 euros. And working width is 5.6 meters. I think that is totally fine. With uh, this tractor repaired, this should be done in a fairly quick time. We could even buy this. Why didn't I buy it? We do have the money for it. Hmm. I mean, it is 2100... A thousand, sorry. I'll think about it. We will probably buy one in the future. We do still... We do still have a loan in the bank. I'm not sure how big it is. 150,000. So we do want to pay that off as soon as we can. Because that way we're going to get more money when we actually... Uh, sell things because every day that goes by or every month uh, Yeah, they we we're getting less money than we could be getting so Getting that paid off would be is going to be one of the main priorities. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna unfold this thing and We're gonna find out if the weeds actually disappear. Let's see So over here we should have yep weeds Let's lower it, nothing to turn on, just gotta drive. I mean, the weeds are disappearing, that's for sure. <laughs> what about on the map? Uh, yes, and also mulched, perfect. So I just need to run with this setup on this field. Yeah, 18 kilometers per hour, that sounds a little bit better in my, in my ears. Oh, now we are going up though, now we're back to 12, 11, oh dear. Right, I'm gonna do this field and I will be right back once it's been done. See you then. is almost complete. I just noticed that I'm missing this bit over here, then the final corner, and then this field has been mulched and also gotten rid of the weeds. Perfect. Then we can put our attention to our animals and potentially to the grass field. And I think that's that. Let's fold that up. Leave that in the yard for someone to come and pick up. Part of the price. Exclusive deal. <laughs> and let's take a look at our animals. Because I really would love to get some cows. Oh, actually, no. We need to take some um, soil samples first. So let's put that there. Get into the app here and tell them, hey, I'm done with this. We can return it. There we go. Lovely. And then the field analyzer is right there indeed. Look at that, perfectly aligned. Let's pick this up. And let's see the information for this field. If I lower this, uh, I think there's something I can toggle. Unfold. That would help. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for, uh, the map right there. Right. We want to get as much info as we can. There we go. This seems good. Take soil sample. And again, we can see it out here doing its animation thingy. So this one is taken. Now we move up. And it does cost a little bit of money, I think, per... Like, um... Sample. 
but I think it should be fine. It's only like 200 or something per, I think. I could be completely wrong as well. There we go. Now this corner up here. And that is field 6 covered. Yep. Beautiful. We can raise this up and we can send soil samples. Thank you. Now we just need to do fuel 7. Oh, and they're already in. We'll take a look at it in just a second once we have taken fuel 7 as well. Which it looks like it just about fits in our radius. So I guess we can take a look at the other one. Uh, if we go in here. Loamy sand. This entire thing is just loamy sand. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. And now for the final corner right down here. We might as well grab a bite from the other field in case we want to buy that in the future, which I think I do want to do. Then we know a little bit more. That's done. Send in for analysis. And that is loamy sand as well. However, some sandy loam in there too. So that's not too bad, and the environmental score is actually high. It's actually high for this one. That's cool. Right, now, with that done, mulching, weeding, and analysis, we're ready to take a look at our animals. So let's do this. Get out of here, and let's take a look at this sheep, because I think we have like 16 sheep or so. Let's take a quick look at the wool. Slow but steady wins the race. And these guys are using uh, eating grass, of course. We have 16 out of 100. I think I want to get a couple more. Let's make that 25, shall we? So 10, that's going to be yeah, 9. It's going to be 2,000, but I think it will be worth it. They will, of course, um, consume more uh, stuff. But welcome, new sheep. I bought the young ones as well, though. Uh, so that is a thing to note. Then let's take a look at our chickens. Because the more chickens we have, the more eggs, of course, we're going to get. And currently the egg production is slow. But getting new chickens is fairly cheap, actually. Um, I mean, I could just... Obviously, I'm getting the, the young ones, but they will grow up eventually. Wait, oh... I could just have gone backwards. <laughs> uh, let's, yeah, let's get them. Let's get them, and can I get two more? There we go. 150, we are completely full. That means they will be eating their food quicker, but also we're going to get eggs faster. Now, Cows. I would love to have cows primarily to get manure and slurry so we can use that in our fields. So I want to take a look at what our options are and how expensive, etc. To get cows, we would need to feed them either grass or hay. We can't really do total mixed rations. Oh, now I'm stuck here. We also need to give them straw, so we need to make sure that we are... Uh, have a field dedicated for the cows, basically, when it comes to... We need we need a wheat field for the chickens anyway. Chickens get the grain, cows then get the straw, sheep can get the hay. Uh, sheep and cows can get the hay that we then produce. Um, actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm not going to get 60. And yes, I am buying cows. <laughs> uh, 10,000. I think that's good. We'll also produce milk eventually. Of course, bought the youngest ones. But they will produce milk as well. Hey cows, welcome to the farm. Lovely to have you. Right. Um, I will, since I don't have any straw, I will need to go ahead and get some. Um, actually, I can leave this open. going to make access easier. I'm going to have to buy some straw bales because I want them to have a bedding. Um, they also need food. Which, I'm not sure, I think, uh, let's see, if we have icon, farming basics, crops, overview, improving, animals, cows, uh, food, grass, hay, and total mixed ration. Okay, so they can't eat silage, which would definitely make sense. 
Which, by the way, when is it time to sell? I just want to make sure I'm not missing out on any prices or something like that. Barley, that's for the chickens. Sorghum. Oh, that's December, actually. Oh, that's today. Okay, I'm going to tag that place. I believe that is the train. We'll definitely be selling that. Uh, sunflowers is in... Yeah, February or uh, September. Actually, March is the highest one right there. Sugar beet also did hold up. That's also December. That is also December and also the highest price there. So we need to. Wow, we need to sell our stuff. Uh, the prices may improve uh, during the day, though. So I'm not going to go ahead and rush and sell it right away. Um, where was it? Sorghum. Yeah, that is also rising. So I'm not going to go ahead and rush to sell it all the way if we can get just a couple of extra euros onto that price. But I need to equip my tractor. Then I need to attach the front loader and give the cows the grass bales that I have. And then I think we need to mow our grass field because we need hay. <laughs> we need hay and I hope it is going to yield properly. Or not properly, but I, I hope it's going to yield grass good. We unfortunately haven't given it any fertilizer uh, in terms of manure or slurry. And of course, we don't use artificial fertilizers uh, in this challenge. I could have bought some pallets because I do have this mod. I might remove it because I don't know if I'm ever going to use it. But I think, yeah, this is the bales. We could buy some uh, straw bales, which I think we will. But pallets, I could have bought um, this mod right here. It's in the description as well if you are interested. I believe that's the mod anyway. No, this is a, this is a mod. Package of premium pallets. And there is one uh, for solid fertilizer. That's not it. Uh, chicken food, etc. Manure. I could have bought manure, manure and then used that on the grass field. And I might keep it. It might be, it might be handy. Um... But since it's already grown, I don't think I can do it when it's ready to harvest, unfortunately. So that's just how it is. But we do need to cut it. We do need to cut it and then get it turned into hay and picked up. But let's put these grass bales in here. Let's see how much it fills it up. Let's see how much it fills up. Go all the way over here. took both of them all right sheep are good chickens are good yeah that barely filled it i don't know how much they're going to consume we do have 40 of them so yeah getting the grass cut is probably going to be a priority and also to see how much we actually gotta get how many hay bales we actually gotta get from that operation because if it's not enough we'll have to get another grass field or turn one of our big fields into grass. But let's head up to the store. And let us get... They do have water. So... Uh, should I bring back... Uh, I could buy hay bales. Um, how big is this? Five... Nine. Okay, so that's why... Yes, this is going to be cheapest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can bring back two bales, I think. Two straw bales. Not sh Actually, no. We'll get our own straw eventually. Until then, they will just be producing slurry. It's going to be a slow start, but it's going to be a good start. All right, here we are. So, now it's not as easily as just cutting the grass and then having a forage wagon behind us, picking it up because we need to turn it into... Uh, into hay. So I need to see tethers turns grass so it can drive faster. Windrower. A windrower arranges grass hay into windrows are easier to handle. So I need a tether as well. Um, which the cheapest is going to be the thing that we pick. But I need a mower. Question is. Ooh, that's going to be expensive, isn't it? Ah, uh, four meters. That's not too bad. 2.5 meters is a bit low. Let's get this one. 4 meters, the cheapest, 1,000 euros, should be fine. So let's attach this. I'm not buying any of this equipment. I wish I could buy all this equipment, but we have a loan. 
And we also have other expenses. Well, we have the loan. Not really other expenses other than having to lease machinery. <laughs> I think once we get like above 100,000, we will be able to invest into new machinery as well. Or things that are like 10,000 10, and stuff like that would be fine, I think. All right, well, here we are. Unfold. And... That's a bit of an awkward position, but I suppose we're just going to get started. We're moving. We'll be sure to try and get the edges as well, but these poles are in the way. So I'll just do an outline first. And I'll have to come back the other way around as well. And I'll take the corners on the way back as well. But we are mowing. Hopefully we have a good yield. It looks like it's so far. Right. I'll see you when I'm done. Alright, yield looks good on the map, so that is perfect, just gotta get this final corner over here, just like that, and we are done. Now we need to windrow it, and then we need to bail it, and I really, really hope I can get a baler that is good, and that doesn't do round bales, because I don't like round bales, I really don't. Alright. Detach that there. Return it. This one. Uh, I'm not gonna repaint it. They can do that themselves. Now I need to get a tether. Uh, I mean, this is would probably be fine. It's 4.4 working working with. If I go up, that is more than double the price. Uh, but also double the working width. But I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to take this one. Only th uh, 350 euros to lease. So in total, we would have now been able to pay for one bale. One hay bale we would have been able to pay for. But as soon as we add the baler, which I assume is going to be another 1,000 or 2,000, we would have been able to buy maybe two and a half bales. So hopefully we're going to get more than that out of this. Even though we have been leasing the machinery and not owning it ourselves. Alright. Fold it out. Now as to... Okay, that is quite small. <laughs> now as to how I'm actually going to go ahead and... Well, we need to do the swathing and then we need a baler. Unfortunately. Not the baler part, but the the swathing. I could use a forage wagon and then just dump it in a pile. But that wouldn't be ideal either. But there we go. We are turning it into hay. This is good stuff. I think I'm just going to follow these paths as much as I can, to be completely honest. Oh, I missed a bit there. Oops. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I need to buy my own mower. Because if I see things like that that I miss, then I can't change it. Which is really, really annoying. <laughs> uh, oh well, the grass is going to regrow anyway. So maybe that actually that's actually a good thing. I'll be able to see if it will be getting any taller. So from that point of view, that's actually not too bad. I will get that piece when I come back this way around. I think I just need to keep it like this. Yeah. 
All right, not bad. This is actually very relaxing. I like doing this. It's fun. I'm using the corner of the wheel right there to see where I'm supposed to go. And it's actually working very well. Just gotta get that piece right there. Goody. Get back into a proper position. Like so. And continue. Then I'll just have to look at windrowers to put it into a windrow. So that we can bail it easier. Now had this been real life, of course, we would have needed to wait quite a while for the grass to actually dry in the sunlight. Um, and doing it during winter is probably not the best time of year to do it. But this is a game, so we can go ahead and well collect it immediately. How are the prices going? They are going up. They are definitely going up. Um, oh yeah, silage. When is it? December is silage as well. Silage is uh, December. Beetroot is December. Wait, that's so much that needs to be sold. Okay. Okay, I need to finish this job quick. I think actually I'm going to split this day into two parts. We're going to do this, getting the hay bales, and then the next episode is going to be starting in the same month where we will be selling everything. Sorghum, beetroot, silage, you name it. Maybe we'll even... Okay, that might be a bit too optimistic, but imagine if we could pay off our loan. That would be huge. So yeah, we're just focusing on the grass field right now. I'm gonna set it to times five, because then actually probably lower than that, because I do want daytime in the next episode. I really would like to not adjust with the time too much, but because you guys are going to be watching, I don't think it is the best viewing experience when it's nighttime, which is why I am going to adjust the time just a little bit. Speaking of little bit, that is this field done. We can fold it. Yep. And time to head back after a windrower. All right, windrower. We could get the cheapest thing possible. Uh, how does this even work? Uh, and then it pushes it to the side. Right, three working, uh, 3.4. Uh, I really don't want to go beyond 20,000. I remember using this. I did not like the experience. I like the ones that has two. Um like this, working with this 8.4. That's another thousand, so, so far we have spent a thousand, so one bale I think I said, right? One bale so far, so this is, we're roughly up on two bales, I think, or maybe one. I'm not sure actually, it also depends on how big those bales are. Because we can make different size bales. Buying all this equipment is definitely a goal. After getting the the loan from the bank, like paid back, because then we're completely free. We can buy productions, we can buy bigger machinery, things like that. Yeah, this might have been overkill for this field, but oh, but I want to use it. <laughs> I want to use it so badly. It's also going to make life a lot easier. I think, anyway. I hope. <laughs> Let's find out. I mean, the turning is beautiful with that. The swath is looking really good. Yeah, I'm not complaining about this. This is definitely equipment I want us to have at some point. I'm loving this.
Oh, power. Oh no, that's not gonna work. May have to fold it up. Move out of the way. Fold back. <laughs> and then turn it on again. Just to get the final bit. Yep. There we go. Good. That indicates our starting point. I don't think I've got a time lapse of this. I think I'm just gonna do it. Because it's not gonna take any time whatsoever. The music will barely be able to start playing. Yep, this is good. Alright, final piece right here. And... Done. We just need a bailer now. Thing is, I still don't know how much hay we actually... Oh, hey dear. How much hay we actually have in that field right now. So, we need a baler. We could get this, which is the smallest thing. This, I'm pretty sure, yep, those are round bales. I mean, I might just have to go with the round bales, but... Uh... Really don't want to. <laughs> but I most certainly will have to, because this... is the first square bale machine... available, and that's... too, too expensive for what we're doing here, so... Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick this. 125 centimeter bales, 180, but that's more expensive. Gonna have to be this one, so that would cost. So I think so far we could have bought. How much could we have bought? So that is one, almost two bales. Though. So I think three bales or so. Three or four bales worth of way of hay could we have bought? So the question is, how much we actually gonna get from this in total? All right, lowering, turning on, and it's time to see how big these bales are gonna get, and how many we're actually going to get in total. That's the big question. Get on the swath. So it looks like 7.5? 6,000? 4,500 liters. So that's the first one. Judging by that, we might get 4 or 5. That's my guess. 5. I'm guessing 5. But it could be wrong, and it could be 6, it could be 7. My hope is 7. <laughs> But realistically, I'm gonna guess five. I do actually wonder if we head in here. Um, if we go to seed rate, pH, nitrogen. Yeah, we didn't give it give it any uh, manure or anything like that. So, but the yield is good though. But the yield could have been better if we had given it manure or slurry. So that's the third bale. You know, my guess of five. Might not be too far off the truth. To be completely honest. Didn't I just wash this tractor? It's already dirty. I mean, it is on a farm, but come on now. And this is the fourth. Otherwise, we'll also have to do some contracts where we make hay so that we can potentially get some of the hay bales left over. That could be another way of securing the hay for our sheep. But that is the fourth bale. Obviously, the bigger the field is, the better the yield result would become. So having two grass, small grass fields might be worth it as well. But that's the fifth. There's only one swath left and a little bit on the outskirts. It's gonna be close if we are gonna get a sixth. Yeah, it's only 30%. I don't think we'll get... Uh, 
A sixth bail. Yep, that's it. Let's see, is there... Uh, that's a waste though, 1,500 liters, and I can't, um, I can't extract it. So that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate, but I'll just have to, I'll have to just return it. Just how it is. Um, so let's do some, let's do some math then. Let's do some, uh, some math. So we got the mower. This right here, that was 1,045, so let's just say 1,000 for the ease of math. 1,000, then we got this thing, which is 400, so that is 1,000 and plus the 40, so 1,500 uh, so far, 1,500. Then we got this, 1,500, so that's another 1,000, so that's 2,500. Then we got the baler. 2,500, and so that's 5,000. So we spent 5,000 on these bales so far, and if we had gone ahead and had to buy the hay bale, we would have been able to get... Um, three-ish. Right? About three. Yeah, pretty much three. And one bale is eight cubic meters, if I'm not mistaken. If that's that's correct, maybe I'm not sure if that's the right thing. Uh, let's see. Hey, hey. Uh, bales. Where do we have? Oh, we already have slurry. Where do we have an overview of our bales? Uh, that's not it. Bales, bales, bales. Bales produce five. It doesn't say. Maybe it says if I walk up to it. They look kind of small. Mass, 235 kilograms. Okay, so that is... Okay, so we got two... So we would have got, been able to get three and a half bales with the money that we have spent on this. And we have five bales, so it has been worth it. It has been worth it. Of course, if we had a bigger grass field, that would have been even more worth it. Um, where on earth did I place my front loader? That is. Uh, yeah, if the field had been bigger, of course, we would have gotten more grass out of it. We would have gotten more grass out of the tools, essentially. How much is field five? Yeah, that's very expensive because we get the entire forest with it. We could buy this and that would be another grass field for us. Also, of course, have 29 and 25. So that is potentially something to look into. But I'm just going to equip this real quick. We're going to give the cows some extra uh, bales. To, to be specific, I'm not going to carry all of them in. We don't need to rush that part. <laughs> also, my loading skills are not ideal. So we're just going to get two in there. And we're going to call it a day, well, an episode, because then we're going to be selling everything in the next one. How about salad? What's the price for salad, actually? Because we do have lettuce, lettuce, salad. February. Okay. So not yet. We want to save that until we get the perfect price for it. Uh, almost got it. That looks very sketchy, but we're just gonna look the other way. All right, here you go, cows. Food is served. How much did that fill them up? That would be 9,000 more. So they just need to get the other three bales. I think the sheep will be all right. Otherwise, we'll just have to buy more bales because our grass has just been cut. And we can't really cut it again right now. Plus, it looks like it needs nitrogen and also some pH and whatnot. So that is that, but guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode in the next one. It is big sales day, and we will be getting, be giving the cows these last bales, and then uh, everything will probably be done, and we can check the culture contracts. Currently, there's a bunch of cultivating. Not interested in that. If there's grass or hay bales, we might be interested, so we can get some for the farm. 
in between episodes, I'm also going to think about potentially getting a grass field. So that we can fully supply our cows ourselves. We can have one of the one of one of our fields over here to be wheat, so that would be grain for the for the chickens and straw for the cows, of course. So we'll see how that goes. But guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. So